I thought I'd do one more wing rider. Um, I'm gonna head back home. I don't know when this bottom's gonna drop out, but it is serious overcast and it's gonna rain. But uh, just want to talk a minute about the KLR 650. I'll call this part three of the videos that I'm doing. The boring, just getting out ride videos. The transmission on this thing is smooth as silk. You don't even have to use the clutch when you're upshifting. If the RPMs are right, just slides right in there. Of course, I use the clutch anyway. Oh, doggies, get out of the road. So you never know, man. You gotta be careful, pay attention. The headlights on this KLR are decent for a dual sport. There's low, there's bright. They, they're not bad. They're, they're decent. The kickstand's too damn long. It needs to be a little shorter. I call that a design flaw. You can buy an adjustable kickstand on eBay for 155 bucks, but are you kidding me? No way in hell, man. I'm not that stupid. It ain't worth that. But I can shorten this one a little bit careful the temperature runs really low it's cold but there is this thing you can buy it's a thermobob they call it that you can add that will raise the temperature up just a little bit higher temperature just means it, it burns more of the garbage out of the cylinders and stuff and if it runs too cold it won't do that it runs better if it's warmed up a little bit more but you see where this one runs it's just cool man or you can buy the deluxe model, the Thermobilly Bob, but that's probably too expensive, you know, so I'm going to skip that one, and I'm thinking about buying the Thermobob, I don't know. And I've got some property in uh, Arizona, there's beachfront, beautiful beachfront property in Arizona that's for sale, if you want to interested in that, leave me a comment. But yeah, this is a nice bike, man, dual sport. Kawasaki KLR, beautiful bike, man. I would love to have something like an Africa Twin, but as far as dual sports, it's hard to beat this KLR. Honda's got the, the dual sport 650, but it's not nearly as nice as the KLR. The instruments and the little fairing and everything is way different on that one. Damn, I'm bright you too, buddy. Anyway, people take these KLRs across country on on tour and across country on these things and the amazing part is if you're traveling across country on one of these things and you want to go off road you can it's not like my gold wing that thing's a thousand pound beast if i want to go off road there ain't no such thing but this klr oh yeah man i love the instruments in the on this uh second gen this was a 2008 first year second gen Nice little fairing, 6.1 gallon fuel tank. I love that. Plenty of fuel, man, plus a reserve. Just go to Tour Tech or SW Mo Tech or something like that and get you some of them boxes to put on the side. You know, this one's got soft bags, the KLR soft bags that were already on the bike. But I did buy a 1560 Pelican case and mounted on the rack on the back. I like that. It's lockable, it's sealable, it protects everything waterproof and all that stuff. I, I thought maybe I should have got the 1600 size, but the 1560 is just about right. But you can put all that stuff on on your KLR and make it into a touring bike. People definitely do that. They tour around the country, out of the country, on these things. For a single cylinder thumper that's carbureted, it's vibrate. There's a little vibration there, but hey. It's comfortable, man. It's not bad. Works on your hands after a while. But how many miles do you want to really do in one day anyway? At one time. What's the point of traveling and touring around if you want to... I'm going to knock out 500 miles today. Well, why? Stop. Smell the roses. You know, look around. It's touring, a vacation. You know why you want to do that? If you want to, go ahead, man. I mean, really. I wouldn't. What kind of vacation is that? You miss half the stuff. 
You tell somebody I went this way and that way, man, it was great. Oh, did you see the so-and-so? No, I missed that. Why? Because I didn't take the time to stop and look for it. Why not? Anyway. For somebody on a budget and you want to get a bike and tour across the country, how comfortable do you want to be? Do you want to spend an ungodly amount of money on a Harley-Davidson? Oh, the Gold Wing's nice, but they're not cheap. Hell, mine was near 30 grand. That was in 2012. The new one's about 30 grand. KLR brand new's about eight. That's before tax tag and putting all your stuff on there. But for about 10 grand, you can you can get a brand new KLR, I think, and get it rigged up and do your traveling. Cross country, wherever you want to go. And this is a nice bike, it'll carry you. And if you want to go off road, you can. But I really like this one. My brother tried to talk me out of it when I first got it, and I told him, no. How much you want for it? And it's not for sale. I'll trade you because he's got several bikes. Nope. He's got one I'd love to have, but I'm not. I, I told him I wasn't trading it for the KLR. Then you go on Craigslist, you can find KLRs for $3,500, four grand all day. Good ones. Nice ones. You know, 2015s and, you know, whatever. Go buy a new one. Hell, he can afford a new one. He's not poor. But, uh, I like it, man. He never did race motorcycles. I raced motocross and enduro both, and I loved it, man. I got where I was very good. I could handle a bike, especially on them endures that's 100, 105 miles long, 95 miles long. I was competitive, too. I had a KDX 400. I like the big open class. Man, that sucker was a beast. It was hell to get started, but once you got it running, man, you could run an Enduro with it. Motocross had a YZ490. I rode open glass. I love that sucker, man. Anyway. But uh, getting close to home, I'm going to put these like three videos on there that I've got. It'll take a week to upload the damn things, but I'll get them on there and bore you some more one guy said he liked a couple of videos that i just put on there i thought they were a little boring but they're, they're kind of neat i mean they're all right you know i've seen a lot worse but yeah this thing's got some headlights on it not bad but i'm gonna kill this one and this is part three and i would combine them together but i don't know how to do that i, I did but youtube changed the editor thing and anyway we'll get back with you and I'll figure out how to do some better videos and I'll do some more videos on the Goldwing too but until later Wing Rider 